We're introducing the world's first ever immersive podcast fan experience. It's five rooms uh, co-curated by the creative team at On Air Fest alongside leading podcast creators. <laughs> This is Living the Questions, um, where you are invited to find a question that most speaks to you and cut it down and keep it, and then in its place, uh, leave a question for someone else, tie it back up. <laughs> All right, I know we're almost out of time, but we're going to sneak in one last stop, so zooming ahead another 10 years in a little bit. That is about the Hubble telescope. On which her dad worked. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. so cool. So he worked like building it, helping to make it. Yeah, he was an engineer on it. We have rooms from the likes of My Favorite Murder to On Being, and each room is a distinct universe unto itself. Um, we were really thinking a lot about what it would mean to step inside of a podcast, which is kind of like an, a, an abstract or, or strange idea. It's something you, you do on your phone. It's a, And we wanted to make something that didn't just feel um, consumptive and, and quick and easy, but to rather sink into um, the meaning of these shows, the big ideas at the heart of them. When we started on Airfest, we thought podcasts were already having a moment, but they weren't having, um, they didn't have a moment in the cultural calendar. And that was part of the reason we started on Airfest was to create that kind of moment that people can look forward to. New shows get launched, um, ideas come to the fore, everyone comes around this medium in the same way that we see in, in film and in other artistic practices. And so we wanted to create that for storytellers. I think what's interesting about the space even more than how it's transcended into other mediums is like the the talent that have moved into podcasting over the last you know five six seven years and basically you know it it has become a viable medium and a platform to advance a, a story you know it's like it can be the end result so while it's like really beautiful that we see you know podcasts out in media and represented as such i think the art form itself is a valid place for an idea to live on and that's sort of what we're rooted in here i think in terms actually externally of the way that it's been covered you know in in 2016 2017 that was a really different time in podcasting. Nothing about my show has changed, but it's just like the pond got so much bigger.